Hey, what is going on Draw It 2 crew? Ramney here with another vlog video. I believe this is vlog number 14. Thank you so much for joining me. If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure to do so and also hit that notification bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new vlog video on this channel. Now, the reason for this vlog today is because I wanted to show you guys a really quick and super cheap uh, way to create like an overhead shot for when you guys want to do some like time-lapse videos using your smartphones. Now obviously you need a smartphone for this and preferably a smartphone with a decent camera that has enough memory in case you guys you know take a long time doing your um, uh, drawing, your speed drawing, um, your time-lapse drawing or whatnot. So um, definitely have one of those first and if you do have one of those and if you guys want to make an overhead shot here is like some quick and simple um, solutions to do so here's two one of them costs like you have to buy something the other one is pretty much free if you guys have the stuff so let's get started with this thing now the first thing I want to show you guys is this cell phone holder right here I'm not doing a very good job of showing you what it looks like but from afar that's what it looks like right there and that uh, specifically is called the Banks Universal Flexible Long Arm Mobile Phone Holder. So that's a long name for this thing. But basically what it is, is it's a clamp and it attaches, you clamp it onto like the edge of your desk here. And then it's got this long arm. It's kind of wobbly, but it's got this long arm that you can put uh, like your cell phone and the cell phone holder at the end of it like this, having it pointing down to your drawing. So as you can see, I've got my cell phone. There's my cell phone. I've got it pointed down to where I can see my drawing, which is the last world, well, the Pennywise drawing that I did. Um, go check that out, by the way, if you guys haven't seen the tutorial for it. Uh, yeah, so there's the Pennywise drawing. There's me recording it. So, you know, super simple. You just draw and whatever you do down here is recorded on here. And the cool thing about this is, I mean, you're, you're, your screen does get obscured a little bit by like this part, but you don't have to worry about it too much because all you really need to do is make sure that it's focused uh, onto your picture, onto your drawing. Make sure you got good lighting. Make sure your lighting is, you know, isn't creating any dark shadows and things like that. You still have the, uh, like the, this button. Sorry, you have the home button. Um, you can stop and start recording uh, using those buttons. You can use like the shutter button to start and stop recording, right? And then you can plug in your microphone over here if you want to talk into, like if you guys want to make tutorial videos like I do, that's one of the things that you can do it. So this right here, you can purchase on Amazon for like $14 and 39 cents. And it's been pretty good. This is what I use when I'm traveling and if I'm out somewhere and I'm not at my uh, main desk, this is the setup that I use. The only problem, like I said, is that it's a little bit wobbly. So you need to make sure that you're, you're, you're your table is pretty stable just so that it doesn't get that wobble, especially when you erase. So there's that. That's one way and it's 15 bucks. So it's not not too bad, you guys. Um, that's one way to do it. Now, the other way is, like I said, is free. And what you can do, I'm going to take this. Yeah, there you go. It's hard to do things with one hand. That's me. I was singing earlier. That's my little acapella thing. Anyway. Um, the other alternative is, I have it on this side, is really, really cheap. And all you need is a stack of pretty heavy books that are about the same size and two chopsticks. That's, that's it, you guys. So what you do, here's my other um, Pennywise drawing tutorial. What you do is you stack your books up as high as you can, just like this. Forgive me for the light. Every time I point to the window, it just gets dark. And then I point here, it gets normal. Now, anyway, um, pile your books like this and try to make your like the heavier, heavier books up at the top. And what you need to do is you just take two chopsticks and you just shove it in between. Yeah, shove it in between like I have it in between two books like this. Um, and simple, all, all it is, is you take your phone. Here it is. It's recording. Well, it's on video, video mode. And all you do is you just stack it on top like this. Just, just like that. Sorry for my shakiness. I am using a cell phone to record my other cell phone. 
So that's that's what it looks like. Now you'll notice that here I'm capturing a little bit of the um, like of the books. So all all you need to do to fix that is like move the camera a little bit or shift it so that the camera because one camera the camera is in the corner, right? Uh, you want to point you want to make sure that when you're recording that the camera is pointed away. And of course, hope it's recording right now. Um, of course, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in landscape, not portrait, right? Nobody likes portrait unless you're doing Snapchat. So you want to make sure that you're in landscape like this. Okay, have the camera pointed the furthest away from the stack of books. So the camera is in this corner. And you'll notice that I don't have, well, I still kind of do, but easily, you could easily move it so that it is not in the way. And I mean, it isn't stable. It's not stable, like it, it will wobble. So you wanna make sure you get like a heavy set, like a lot of heavy books and stack it right here so it doesn't wobble. And you might even want to like make it even better. You might want to like tape the phone onto the chopsticks as you go so that it doesn't, you know, fall off or anything. So that's one way to do it. As you guys can see, the vantage point isn't too bad either. Of course, the higher you go, the wider, the wider you'll, the wider point of view you'll have, right? So there, there you go, you guys. This is a second way, a really cheap, and I mean, look at it. That's all it is. A really cheap alternative way of creating that overhead shot with just your mobile phone. I hope you guys, uh, I mean, try it out and let me know in the comments if you do to see if it works out. And yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed those two tips. I have a link down in the description below for this um, this thing. If you guys want to take a look at it and see possibly if that's something that you guys are interested in investing in. Now, uh, as a disclaimer, it is, um, uh, what do you call it? That's, I can't even think of it right now. It is an affiliate link, an affiliate link. So that means that at no cost to you guys, if you do decide to purchase one of these, um, I do get a little bit of commission and by doing that you guys will be helping out this channel as well So I hope you guys enjoyed those tips. I will have I promise you I will have more tips on this channel sometime soon I hope you guys have a great week and uh, yeah Halloween's coming up. I hope you guys are enjoying my Halloween um, Tutorials, I will make a playlist of my Halloween tutorials on my main channel so that everybody will have access to it um, Better yeah Everybody will have better access to my Halloween videos and it'll be a nice little neat playlist. So thank you, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys again next time.